Hello, thank you very much for joining me today. My name is Chris, one of the sales consultants with FileHold Document Management Software, and today I'll be showing you how you can archive documents simply and easily with FileHold. Let's first talk about why you might want to archive a document. Using FileHold search function, I'm just going to come over here and enter in a simple search for myself. Let's look for a common term that I might have in my system. For instance, let's say it's an account number for a project I've been working on. When I run my search through, FileHold's going to look for every document that contains this, these values and brings them forward. And here I can see my results, including a bunch of documents that are apparently from 1997. Now I know I need to hold on to these in perpetuity as part of my project, but I also know I don't want to see them in all my search results. To make this simple, I can send these down into my archive. The library archive is located here, just below your library. When I open this up, you'll see some of the different archived cabinets that I have. So if I navigate to the area where these documents are, in this case I happen to know they're here, I can archive this entire folder just by selecting and choosing to archive the drawer. A pop-up lets me know that this is going to be sent to the archive and it cannot be undone, just to make sure I want to. Once I select that, we'll see that the, cabinet, the drawer is now empty within my library, and if I come down over to here, we'll see the cabinet and the structure has been duplicated down into here. And when I select, I can see my folder and all of my documents. What this means, you'll also notice that over here, these have now been marked with an archive symbol. These documents have now been preserved in the system and are ready to be looked at in the future. Unlike regular documents in FileHold, when I select a document that's in the archives, you'll see that I no longer have the ability to check these documents out, delete them, or make any changes to them. These have been preserved to ensure that they'll be here in the future whenever you need to. And now when I go back over to my search and try that again to look for that same set of documents I was looking for before, now we only see the current documents in my system. With Archive, I can make sure to keep my library tidy and not cluttered up with documents that I no longer need on a day-to-day -day basis. Instead, I can just pass them down here to the Archive. If I need them in the future, I can always try to include those back into my search to make sure I'm finding all relevant points of information. And here you can see all my Archive documents come up, just like the current working documents. Thank you so much for joining me today to have a look at the archive function in FileHold. If you have any other questions about how you can archive documents and make sure your system is, stays within regulatory compliance, always reach out to us at sales at filehold.com or give us a call at the number you can see on screen. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again soon.